Hello! We are back from our Hogwarts legacy. Um, we're just gonna jump straight into it. I feel like I say that every single episode, but here we go. Um, oh. Okay, right, I forgot. Um, so we can meet Sebastian or we can talk to Poppy. Mm, I'm gonna go talk to Poppy. Sebastian's been scaring me lately because... Uh, I don't know what's going on with him. I don't actually know how much we have left of this game. Part of me feels like we have ages left, but then the other part of me feels like, whoa, we're kind of getting into the thick of it again. So it's making me nervous that I, I don't have much time to finish all the little extra things. I don't know if the game ends while I'm still a seventh year. I'll admit, I don't know enough about Harry Potter to know um, how many years you got. <laughs> now, how do I get this? <laughs> oh, okay. What? What, 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 what did you just say? Poppy! I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. Uh-oh. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Oh, no. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. Oh, I'm nervous. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What is a plimpy? What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you just do that? Oh yeah. <laughs> How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies burn marks, things like that. Okay. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's alright, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Oh, it's just teleporting us. Okay, great. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and locked her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. I'm so nervous about this. This cannot go well. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. <sighs> it's not going to be in and out, are we? As soon as they say something like that, it never is. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Agreed. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Hmm. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. No. We should stay on foot. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness Whoa. knows she's been through enough already. You think I'm, I'm gonna try? To I don't want to agitate her. I just- I want to not die. Oh lord. Okay. There she is. Above us. She did make it home safely. Girl, I'm scared. Oh, it looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I feel like we're- what is this? I feel like we're gonna see- puppy? See her nest and then she's gonna be like, hurrah! Like, what's stopping her, quite frankly, you know? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. See- uh, Hi. Nothing ever goes good in this game, so I find it very hard. She's not gonna fight us. She's gonna get mad at us, though. It looks like we took it. Oh. Oh, what happened here? Game, please. Poppy... That could be us. <sighs> For what it's worth, 
She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. I don't get Let's how. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. I'm scared. What are those? Oh, there's little wolves. Okay. Ah! Okay, I'm sorry, Poppy. I know that probably was not enjoyable for you, but it kind of needed to be done. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Where are you, Smithy? I thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantula. Oh my god. <laughs> no. You wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few days ago, not to mention Borneo is not half bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Something tells me he's not going to be keeping in touch any longer. <laughs> I don't know where I got that suspicion, but... <laughs> Okay. Hi. Yeah, breathtaking. Uh huh. She could blow us up in two seconds. Not even. I just really don't want to have to fight her because I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't. I, is the game bad enough? How good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Shut up. Stop Capuchins talking. Love sheep. Stop talking. How lucky for us. <laughs> Can we just, like, pop it in and run away? Is that allowed? Watch your step. As I just jump. <laughs> she must have been starved to pick off a grapple. Or just raring for a fight. Ooh. What am I lo- Oh. <laughs> I'm blind, apparently. Oh my god, okay, this cannot go well. I, mm, there's a lot of ways it could go. And not a lot of them are looking particularly great. Quiet, what was that? A crow? Um. Uh-huh. Uh. She doesn't look too friendly. Oh, wait. What? Okay. So she does like little... What do you mean over here? Where are you? Run! Run! Okay, hold on. What? Okay, go now. Go to, get up. 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 Go. Go. You're too slow. You're too slow. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, bet. Okay. Poppy, we are moving too slow for this. I don't know why I'm looking for secrets right now. Whoa. Uh huh. Oh, oh, there's more now. Okay. So I have to be prepared for three shots this time. No, she's not. Okay, go, go. Please, game. Please. Please. <laughs> not a warm welcome. It's a little too if you ask me. It is probably quite toasty. She'd listen to reason. She's a dragon. She can't talk. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Okay, so it's still just three. Okay, I chickened out. We gotta wait. <laughs> we go. Go, 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 go. Uh, Puppy, are you okay? Hold on, I need to scope out where the next spot is. Probably that. Go, 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 go. Get to that opening below her. Okay. Please can go, please can go, please can go. Oh no. <gasps> um, well, I just took that like a, a boss, so. Quickly. Brilliant. 
I'm trying, I'm trying. There's the nest. We're almost there. Scoop. Don't mind me, sorry, Poppy. I had to grab some stuff. Why is every bridge here broken? Probably oh, because it's a dragon and they can't use bridges? I don't know. Just return her egg. We can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Girl, did you just see what happened? She's gonna pop up behind it. <coughs> we gave it back. Be nice to us, please. Oh, you're scary. Hi. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Don't tell me. Bye. Okay. Goodness. was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed she couldn't have done it before <laughs> but you know i guess yeah creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg sure thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again I kind of want to fly, though. Wait, what happens if I say I'm not ready to leave? What else happens? I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I'm ready whenever you are. Oh, so I just get to run around and investigate. Ah. I think I found everything. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Bear? Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. Yeah. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. <gasps> Her grandma. How could I have been so blind? Are you going to say it's your grandma? Where am I going? Oh, are we just done? Okay, I guess we're just done. She's over me. I'm assuming we should do... We should probably do the side quest Sebastian one first before we go... To the main one. I could be totally wrong about that. Oh, we gotta go all the way down to like Feldcroft. Whoa. I'm for a bit of dying, oh. I don't. Why are you yelling at me? I didn't even go near you. Oh, we got cute little music over here. So apparently they're not that mad. I do indeed have to go right what? next to all of them. One less human to worry about. Oh, which one's Depulso? Where are you? Ooh. Okay. Ow. I did it. Okay. Now you can die. Ha ha. You're here. Good. Hi, Sebastian. What are you getting us into this time? Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. Oh. I need to see her. I... this isn't gonna go well. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, 
but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. Okay. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. Oh. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I get it, though. Okay, student report. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore. In an area behind the great room which had suffered decay in the turned over sarcophagi, I... What did he just do? I discovered an oddly shaped relic. Immediately, I sensed its power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further if only the removal of objects were allowed. I'll be interested okay. to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Bro, I'm a bet that since he couldn't take it or whoever, it's probably not something you should take. Unfortunately, I doubt it's going to do what you think it will. Boy. Okay, can there just be no spiders? Please, no spiders. Okay, good, you're here. You look a little spooky like that. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose <laughs> your nerve just yet. Uh-huh, yep, sure. I swear, this game actually hates me. Sebastian, you kill him. There's one really right next to me. Get back here. Ah, not that close. Sebastian. Perhaps that was it. I didn't. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. I doubt it. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> no reason. Mm. I'd say opening them all is justified. Not if they all have spiders in them. This room is taller than it looks. Uh huh. Ah. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna. Do -do -do -do. Oops. Sorry, Sebastian. My bad. Wall is up here. Oh, a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Yeah, I take it. Okay, let's continue. How much you want to bet? There's more spiders. That didn't take very long. Sebastian, why do you? <laughs> Why does he do so little damage? It's Sebastian. He shouldn't do that little damage. Incendio. Please, no spiders. Okay. Ooh. There? Okay. Watch your step. Oh. I nearly slipped there. Oh. Why are you telling me to watch my step when I'm ahead of you? I'm just gonna... I'm tired of dealing with them. <laughs> Bonk. Yippee. <laughs> Die. Oh man, I did not expect to see that one there. All this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've heard about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I feel like they could have just gotten more creative than, you know, just throwing spiders in wherever. Like, give me something else. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be Ooh. buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Why... Is he so weird? <gasps> There's something here by the altar. What? Oh. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay. But research must come before my 
fealty to the rules, I sense something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English oak wands have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return to it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment, learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Mm. Um... Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Yeah, Let's divide was. and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. About what, dude? Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Okay. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. Oh, I don't trust There's this more situation. To this I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. Um. If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. I don't know what to do. Hey. Well, I assume it has something to do with this. I just don't know what. Uh huh. Here. Did I do it? Oh, I just rebuilt it. Um, I feel like that wasn't correct. Uh. The student mentioned bones as the key. Must be what we need. I know, but I don't know what to do with them. Just to keep piling it up? Okay, well, I'm assuming I gotta go through here, so we're just gonna... Pop. Oh. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. <laughs> Valid. Spider? No, okay. I'll be a spider in this one. Oh no, just my bones, okay. Honestly, I'd take that. Come on, little bones. Let's go stack you up over here. Aha! -ha. You've done it! I did it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Oh. Nice. <sighs> Oh boy. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. What? The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. How do you just it's know an these? Unforgivable. But useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Okay, I wouldn't know, but like. Is there anything bad that happens if, by the end of the game, I know all, like, this crazy ones? Why did you learn the Imperius Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous Bruh. that I've told you. Why? It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Okay, obviously I'm gonna say yes, but, like... <laughs> Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the Blasting Curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. <laughs> it's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that would say your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at well. stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. I, I'm just gonna say I probably can manage Focus with your that. Wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Am I gonna cast on him? Oh, he was sitting there, and I'm like, um. <laughs> 
Okay, so... Mm. Bonk. Boom, did it. So does it do I cast go. this and it just something troubling ahead. What? Be on your guard. What do you mean? How do you know? Bruh. Ah! Ha ha. Sebastian, you're really not that much help. He's already dead, okay. E okay. Do I have to go that way? Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh, do you see that? Oh, heck no. Oh, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to fight it. Okay, Sebastian, listen to me. You need to start holding your way. Oh. <gasps> oh, okay, Sass Queen is back. He just turned his back on me. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. Ooh, you know, maybe it'd be good if I use the right thing. Ah. Yikes. Why are they with the Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. 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 I hated that. Sebastian! Ah! Oh my god, get up. I hate the screeching. Please tell me they're dead. <gasps> oh my god. That gave me a heart attack. Where did it come from? What is this? I ignored the spider sounds. <laughs> this catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. Uh huh. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Probably not. I don't know. I don't know what sane person just comes in here. So, Sebastian, I mean that in the worst way to you. When I said I'm starting to like ominous moy, I mean it. I gotta go this way. Ah, oh, more bones. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. Well, I try. <laughs> okay, there's a spider, bro. <laughs> okay. Did I not do it correctly? Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Okay, so this one and that one open this. Maybe I need to do this one first. Ah, okay. Um, this and that one, so. Ooh. I'm so scared there's gonna be spiders now. Okay, and we need like one more. So oh, wait. Ah. You're telling me the first one I accidentally opened was the one with the dang spider? Of course. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Thanks. <laughs> I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. I don't. Not at all, actually. Is that spiders? Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Sebastian. No way. <laughs> I 
Hold on, can I... Pop that in there. Oh. For a moment there, I thought that would never end. I didn't do that right, but it's okay. Now I got that ready. Anyways, that was disgusting. I want to do this from as far away as possible. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. <laughs> Don't give up yet. Fashion. Okay, there's a relic note. So, Sebastian, Mr. Impatient, I'm assuming that's where it's, it's going to tell us where to go. That didn't make sense, but we're going to go with it. The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind, but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Oh? Sebastian, the relic! Look! Um, that... Hey. Sebastian, this is a terrible idea. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. And what do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. Ashton, it's... Uh, no, I don't think anything will be... No, 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 no. The note advises to leave the relic alone. I assure you, we were meant to find this. For Anne's sake... I'm taking it. Uh, Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. Stop wrapping me up in this, bro. You're gonna turn evil, and you're gonna get all sassy with me. And how did? Ominous. Stop. Stop. There's no ominous. First off, I could have helped used your help with the spiders. Second. Ominous. I'm sorry. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. You're not sorry. No, you're not. If you <laughs> won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. I can't believe this. Uh, I don't want to persuade Ominous. I want to tell Sebastian to figure it out. How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's not right. Yes, we need to help Anne, but let's be real here. This is a sketchy way to do it. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. Oh. I hope I don't regret this. I already do, bro. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. <laughs> I hate this. What's going to happen? I feel like we can't just leave with the relic, you know? Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? No. I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. 
Tell me. What is your we deal? Agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. How do I open this? Aha! Made it. Boom. Secret completed. Oh. Sick. Okay, now I'm ready to go, Sebastian. Where is he? Did he already dip? Did he leave me? Yay! As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Sebastian, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It does feel like a very psychotic kind of task here. Like, I understand he wants to save his sister, but okay, there's gotta be... Gotta be some moment where you're like, hmm, maybe we're doing a little too much here. Because something tells me Anne would not want him doing all this dark magic stuff either. She'd probably be like, bro, what are you doing? I only really talked to Anne once though, so maybe not, but uh -uh. I'm just making a guess here. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. I she thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. I guess I should have waited to say what I was going to say. Because <laughs> clearly now she wouldn't want him to do this. Why does it look like everything is on fire? Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, uh, over there, by the hamlet. Um, like, clearly it's in front of our face. What do you mean, what is it? Felkov's in trouble. They're under attack. Oh no. Let's hurry. I got you. Is that his uncle? Ah! Whoa! Bro, what do you mean you're handling it? You're not even doing, like, anything. Okay, did it. Oh no. Girl, what are you doing out here? <gasps> oh no. Unforgivable curse from that damned book, no doubt. Huh. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Bro. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. I... I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Um, uh, I mean, technically, I think it's a good thing he obviously killed the guy. Probably could have done it, but, uh, 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 You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. I mean, he it can. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Why? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. What was she doing outside the house anyways? Like, come on, girl. You know you can't do stuff, so like... Stay away, but... That's probably mean of me to say. <laughs> 
Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. No, I'm not going to defend him. Oh, no. This game is making me... <laughs> I feel like he has gone too far in total, so I'm going to do that. Sebastian acted rashly, but he acted out of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? With an unforgivable oh, curse? This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian Bruh. is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. <laughs> oh, yippee. Why, Sebastian. Great. That was really lovely. Okay, I'm really nervous to talk to... Seb what is... Oh, it's just a shout out. I'm really nervous to talk to Sebastian here. I... Uh, I have an idea how it's gonna go. The more these quests of Sebastian's go, the more stressed out I get with this game. Okay, Sebastian. <sighs> what are you gonna say? Did you speak with my uncle? Unfortunately. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. Mm -hmm. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh. That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for... Oh. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. <sighs> what did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest. And without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe. She's, it holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if uh, we needed his help. Why do we keep bringing Ominous into this? I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send uh, you an owl when I have news. I'm gonna be real at this point. I don't know if I want it. Cause like you seem to be going a little off the rails. Anyways, um, with that, <laughs> I think we're gonna leave that there. Um, this took more of a turn than I expected it to. I, as usual, have absolutely no idea what the heck Sebastian thinks is going to happen, but I'm so curious to know how his storyline is going to end. Like, is it going to end with him actually saving Anne, or is something going to happen to Anne that that's what makes him turn evil? Because at this point, I know for a fact that people saying he turns evil was not a fluke. It is definitely going to happen. <laughs> but i don't know i guess we'll see um yeah with that we're gonna leave it here hope you guys enjoyed i will see you all next week for more hogwarts legacy bye